Welcome to the inaugural episode of our new series, Motivational Book Reviews, where we delve deep into the pages of some of the most impactful motivational literature out there. I'm your host, Susan, and joining me is the ever-enlightening Larry Donawan, a motivation coach who has a unique way of making words come alive. Larry, are you ready to dive into our first book? Absolutely, Susan. And what better way to kick off this series than with one of the most profound pieces of literature that grapples with life's most significant questions? I'm talking about Victor E. Frankel's Man's Search for Meaning. It's such a powerful book, Larry. For those in our audience who might not be familiar, Man's Search for Meaning is a memoir by psychiatrist Viktor Frankl, who survived the Holocaust. The book details his experiences in Nazi concentration camps, but more than that, it explores his psychotherapeutic method of finding meaning in all forms of existence. That's right, Susan. What's captivating about this book is that amidst the horrors and inhumanity of the concentration camps, Frankel managed to unearth profound insights into the human psyche. He presents the idea that even in the direst circumstances, life has meaning, and that our primary drive in life isn't pleasure, as some other theorists suggest, but the discovery and pursuit of what we find meaningful. It's such a revolutionary thought. The idea that our drive to find meaning can be more potent than even our basic instincts for survival. Frankel's account gives readers a raw, unfiltered look into the depths of human despair and the heights of resilience. Absolutely. One of the things that really struck me is his assertion that we cannot avoid suffering, but we can choose how to cope with it, find meaning in it, and move forward with renewed purpose. It's this freedom to choose one's attitude in any given set of circumstances that sets the tone for the rest of the book. This is not just a historical account. It's a guide on how to navigate life's challenges. That's a brilliant observation, Larry. I was particularly moved by his stories of individuals in the camps who, despite facing imminent death, held on to their sense of purpose, be it love for a family member, a piece of unfinished work, or just the sheer will to endure and tell their story. It's a testament to the indomitable human spirit. Absolutely. And this brings us to the second part of the book, where Frankel dives into his therapeutic technique called logotherapy, derived from the Greek word logos, meaning meaning. It's based on the premise that the primary human drive is not pleasure, but the pursuit of what we find meaningful. Logotherapy is such an essential part of the book, as it offers a roadmap to finding personal meaning. Larry, can you shed some light on how logotherapy differs from other psychotherapeutic methods? Gladly, Susan. Where traditional psychotherapy might focus on the why of human suffering, logotherapy explores the what for. It's not about delving into the past, but rather setting a direction for the future. It's proactive and places responsibility on the individual to shape their destiny, no matter the external circumstances. That's such a compelling distinction. Frankel's work is not just about surviving trauma, but about how to rebuild and find meaning after the trauma. Exactly. He often stressed that our greatest freedom is the freedom to choose our attitude. This sentiment resonates deeply with me and countless others who have read this transformative book. It's a reminder that even in the face of adversity, we have a choice. And that choice, as Frankel puts it, can be our greatest triumph. Indeed, Susan. There's so much to unpack in this book, and we've only scratched the surface. But as we delve deeper, I hope our listeners can grasp the profound impact man's search for meaning can have on one's perspective on life. Absolutely, Larry. Let's take a short break and come back to discuss more insights from this masterpiece. As we approach the end of our discussion on Mon's search for meaning, I can't help but reflect on the profound influence this book has had on so many. Larry, if there was one primary takeaway from this book for our listeners, what would you suggest it be? That's a great question, Susan. If I were to distill it down to one core message, it would be the indomitable power of human choice. Frankel teaches us that no matter the external circumstances, no matter the suffering or pain, we always have the choice in how we respond, how we feel, and what meaning we attribute to our experiences. That's so beautifully put, Larry. It's a testament to our inherent resilience and our capacity to find light, even in the darkest moments. Indeed, Susan. And it's this beacon of hope, this reminder that our search for meaning is both universal and deeply personal that makes Frankel's work evergreen. 
Whether you're facing personal challenges, professional hurdles, or just seeking to understand the broader tapestry of human experience, this book offers a lens that's both therapeutic and enlightening. I couldn't agree more. And while man's search for meaning centers around harrowing experiences from the Holocaust, its lessons are universally applicable. It's about the broader human experience, our collective struggles, and the enduring power of hope and purpose. Absolutely. Frankel once said, when we are no longer able to change a situation, we're challenged to change ourselves. It's a call to introspection, growth, and above all, a pursuit of meaning in all we do. Such a poignant reminder for all of us. Well, Larry, our time for this episode has come to an end, but the lessons from man's search for meaning will undoubtedly stay with us and our listeners. Thank you for your insights and for helping bring this book to life. It was my pleasure, Susan. And to our listeners, I urge you to pick up a copy of this book if you haven't already. It's a transformative read that offers a perspective shift we all could benefit from. Beautifully said, Larry. Thank you all for joining us on this episode of Motivational Book Reviews. So we'll be back soon with another enlightening discussion on another impactful book. Until then, keep searching for your meaning and embrace the journey. Goodbye. Goodbye, everyone. Stay inspired.